Hi everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog. So welcome to March's Little Miss So and So All Set to Sew so special subscription box where I bring to you the whole process from selecting the fabric and the pattern to the unboxing to the full reveal. So very quickly I'll let you know what the All Set to Sew subscription box service is. It's provided by Nicola at Little Miss Sew and Sew and there's two levels of subscription box. There is the Sew Special which is a box that I have which is £45 a month including postage and packaging. And in that you get to choose between a stretch and a woven pattern, stretch or a woven pattern, the fabric out of the selection, um, you get the notions for that pattern and you also get a little sewing gift as well. The other box is the Sew Luxurious which is £65 a month and it's exactly the same however you get a slightly um, enhanced gift and you also get to choose from le um, designer fabrics so Lady McElroy's, Dashwood Studios etc. Now with both of those boxes you can choose for it to be a complete surprise um, if you want to and I know some people do do that so you can just say you're not bothered what pattern or fabric it is and Nicola and her staff will choose um, a lovely selection for you. So on the first of each month you get an email from Little Miss So and So saying it's time to choose your pattern and fabrics. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get the screen images up for you now and we'll have a look at what this month's pattern and fabrics are. So the link takes you through to the website and the first thing that I do is I filter and I'm going to filter and select the pattern first of all and I'm going to go for the stretch pattern first. Ah okay, so it's a Tilly and the Buttons Pearl Guardigan. Now this is a great pattern, I actually have this pattern and I've actually made this pattern. So I've got this on a PDF so I'm not sure that I need to, um, that I'm going to have that one again. So let's go for the woven. Hmm, okay. In the folds, Rennie dress. Hmm, okay, so it's kind of like a smock style dress with a pockets and a belt and a side slit. I mean, it's nice. I'm not sure I like it with the belt. Yeah, I much prefer it without the belt actually. Now I love in the folds, in the folds do do some really great patterns, well, that, that looks quite nice. And their finish is really great, I've used their um, patterns from Peppermint Peck magazine and I've made the jumpsuit and a couple of other items which I really liked. I don't know, I don't know if I, I would, would I buy this pattern? I'm not sure I would. Am I open to trying it? Yes I am. So I'm going to go for that pattern I think because I don't want the pearl cardigan again. Let's have a look at what the stretch fabrics are anyway. Some lovely colours there. French I love this animal print on the ochre and the animal, they do it on the orange as well. I'm just waiting for the next stretch pattern where I can choose that fabric. So many lovely different styles as well. This Avalana jersey looks lovely as well. I love that wild stems cream. Cotton jersey, we've got the paint splatter. Lots to choose from. Just going to go through these because I'm not going to have the. Oh, I like that. Rainbows on pink. Very nice habits. This Pontel, Pontiel, Pontoil is really nice as well. Okay, let's have a look at the woven fabrics. Okay, so I'm thinking of linen, well, definitely not pink. Ditsy prints, not really for me. Quite like the stripes. Oh no, this has got to be it. I've seen this everywhere. This fragments linen viscose looks lovely, but I really, I really like the monochrome. I think I might go for this ochre colour. Oh, it says brown, but it looks like ochre. Oh, they've got it made up there in a coat. That looks nice. I think I might go for this. What the colours have got? 
minty green. Ooh, that's nice as well. Loads of choices. Chambray, got double gauze. A few double gauzes. Poplins. Oh, these floral poplins are quite popular. I'm not a lover of the floral like that, but it's very cute. I know it's very popular. Peacocks on there, the digital print. Got some embroidery, some dots. It's absolutely loads of choice. There's another page. Really summery fabrics. You can tell we're moving into the more summery times. Gosh, there's loads of fabrics to choose from. Oh, I love that rainbow stripe. So cute. It reminds me of a bed sheet that my nan used to have. I don't know if you know the type I'm talking about. Really cute. More double gauze, more embroidery. Hmm. Quite a lot of choice there, I think, though. It's going to have to be the fragments because I've had my eye on that and I've seen it in a few different places quite like the top but I think I'm going to go for the brown or ochre as I see it okay yeah I'm going to go for the ochre and I'm going to do the Rennie dress so interesting bit out of my comfort zone we'll have to see how I get on so I've now submit that um order and then that will come in around um around the 20th to the 25th so I should be able to bring you that unboxing and then I'll do my reveal once I've made it. Hi, so it's been a few weeks later and it's now the 18th of March, Friday the 18th of March. And I have just received my Little Miss So-and-So box. So I'm going to unbox that now for you. Now, if memory serves me correctly, be fresh in your mind because this just happened for you but I think it was a linen viscose in an ochre colour it said brown but I'm hoping it's more ochre but we'll see um and it was in the fold Rene dress which I'd never ever seen before and I can't tell you that I was in love with the pattern when I first saw it um with the belt on but with the belt off it was much more my style so let's get this opened up <clears throat> a lot to make. Right, so here we go. In the folds Rene dress. Rene dress. Now, in the folds, I actually really like in the folds. Um, I've made quite a few. I think I've made three or about three of their patterns through, though, Peppermint Magazine. So, I can't remember the designer of um, in the folds. I want to say Rachel, but I might have made that up. Um, let me see if it says it in here. No, but she has created patterns for Peppermint magazine. I think um, there's the wrap top, um, I think the wide strap dress. There's a few different ones. I've made the jumpsuit. Um, I'm pretty sure the skirt, the pocket skirt's in the folds, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you like in the folds, Peppermint magazine has quite a few in the folds designs on there for free. So this is the dress, it's quite plain and simple lines. Um, you find that within the folds, it doesn't always necessarily mean it's a simple sew because sometimes there are complex techniques in them, um, but I'm not sure if these will have complex techniques. But yeah, this is the one I'm interested in. Um, just the plain shift dress, it's got split hem, which I like, split side seams, I'm sure it's mitered corners, and then it's got bust starts and yeah, you can put a tie on it as well. Uh, let's have a little look at my measurements. So I'm usually a, I used to be a D, but obviously I'm a little bit bigger now. So I'm an E. I think I might be an E. Yeah, I'll probably go for an E because it's the bust measurements that's important here. Um, yeah, finished garment measurements. So I'm either an E or an F. So that's what I'll probably go for. So it says the Rennie dress is a boxy, relaxed fitting calf length dress made for easy dressing. It incorporates a range of finishing techniques for beautifully finished garments which will elevate your wardrobe. An optional shaped belt is included in the pattern and can be used for either views. And it's all printed on A0 sheets of paper there. 
um, which is lovely. Right, pop that to one side. Ooh, some jingling going on in here. Let's open it up. Ooh, hemline pins. Lovely. So that's a free little gift. Lovely. Need some new pins. Um, love, love, love this hemline. I've said it before. The new packaging from Hemline just rings really nice and um, looks quality, doesn't it? Let's pop them there. That's what all that jingling was about. So we've got our matching thread. Oh, they've put bias binding in as well. So I've got my matching thread. It is brown, isn't it? I don't think I'll get away with it being yellow. I was hoping it could be more so yellow for endo, but it's more that um, brownie colour. And then I've got some bias binding to finish the armholes. Brilliant. And I think the neck, I'm not sure if the neck is... Um, facing or not loads and loads of interfacing again so I've talked about this before you always get <clears throat> half half a meter of um, interfacing even if you only need a strip so it basically keeps me in interfacing this box <laughs> um, let's put that to one side and oh this fabric isn't this fabric gorgeous it is a linen viscose mix is it a linen viscose yeah linen viscose mix but it's, it's, it feels a lot more like linen. Look at that. It's really my colour palette. Absolutely in love with that. Now, they do this in so many different colour ways. I'm, and the ones that I really like at the moment are the monochrome ones as well. The white with the black. Although just white's just not a good colour for me. They do a white background with a black print. And then they also do the black background with the white print I think that would look gorgeous too in some kind of summery little dress so how much fabric have we got here do we think I think three meters let's just get the stick out three meters of fabric there and the dress takes my size yeah it does take three meters of fabric So we'll probably use all of that, I would imagine. But yeah, loving that. Going to get that in the wash now. Will I get away with it for a so yellow? It won't. I won't, will I? I definitely won't. Anyway, that's gorgeous. Really, would I, I've seen this fabric in so many shops, but I didn't buy it because I knew it was going to be one of the options with Little Miss So-and-So. And so this is definitely a fabric I would have purchased myself. Absolutely love it. Um, and can't wait to get this made up. I'm going to pop this in the wash now. Um, I think as well, although it's like a sundress, this in the fold dress, I think that over a black frayer, top by Tilly and the Buttons, would look gorgeous. So, and I have got a black frayer, although I don't think it fits me at the moment. But anyway, let's get this in the wash and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hiya. I've made it. And I've got to say, I didn't think I would, but I actually really like it. Now, this dress, when I first chose it, I must admit I wasn't 100% sure about it. I think I shared that at the beginning. But I'd already got the pearl pattern, so thought I'd go for this. And I actually thought that I would go for the non-belted version. Um, I'll put the photos from Instagram. So when I saw the picture on the front of the pattern, with the belt, I just thought that's not for me. It's not going to suit me. So I thought I'd go without the belt. So I had every intention when I cut out the fabric not to um, cut out the belt. I just thought I'm not going to bother. It's a lot of fabric because it's a really, really long belt. Um, and as I was going through the sewing process and once I finished the dress and um, had it on the mannequin, I actually felt like it was a bit too oversized for me. Um, and the pockets I felt were sticking out a little bit. Anyway, after a good press, though, that solved the problem with the pockets and I was happy with it. Um, and actually, I thought, you know what, I'm going to make the belt and see what I think. And I made the belt and I've got to say, I absolutely love both versions of it. Um, it's really grown on me. I love it wearing it with this top. I've just started with a ready to wear. Um, it's very much like a fray of this, um, but this is just a ready to wear one that I've got. And I am in love with this. I've got to say, I think the colour suits me amazingly. I feel great in it. Um, so let me show you. I'll stand up. I have got pictures and I've got um, 
some footage of me doing a 360 as well because um, I think that's really helpful so this is the dress and the belt wraps round starts at the front wraps round and then ties like this but you can do it however you want to some people I've seen on the stock photos some people on the stock photos um have the belt just tied at the back so it's just like a band and yeah it's just really versatile and I also like it without the belt on I'll show you I think this is a more um um, elevated look and then if you wanted something more casual for like walking down the beach I think it'd be perfect anyway let me talk to you about the process so this is the Rennie dress there's two views I was never going to make this view um and I've gone for the side pockets not patch pockets I think if I made this dress again I'm in this type of heavy fabric I would omit the pockets because although I love having them they do add a bit of bulk because they're all French seamed so Maybe wouldn't French seam the pockets. I don't know. I'd have to have a think about it. So I went for the size E, which is based on a 37 uh, and 3 quarters bust measurement, a waist of 31 and a hip of 41, which put me in the E. Um, and that had in the bust, what we're having like seven, eight, nine, five inches of ease in the bust, which I thought was enough. I probably could have gone down to the um d um because i have got quite a bit of room in the bust but i think that's okay because it's an oversized look and this takes 2.9 meters of fabric and it does i used every pretty much every last scrap of fabric um since i'd used done the belt as well um i mean i don't actually know how i would have done the sleeves <laughs> But I suppose it would have been to do with pattern placement. Um, it's got this really lovely, it's got bust stars, it's got a really lovely finish to the hem. Um, it's really neat on the inside. I'll just show you its innards. Um, show you a corner. So it's got a mitered corner, which is a lovely finish. Very, very happy with that. Um, and yeah, I think it's a really good process now i really like about this is in the folds is it does recommend using french seams as your finish um and it tells you how to do the french seams as well a lot of um patterns will just say finish your see finish we recommend french seams please finish all the seams french seams please finish all the seams with french seams and doesn't tell you how to do it whereas this talks you through every step even on the pockets and everything it tells you how to do french seams so the inside of this dress it's really, really neat. It's got completely completed French seams. It's got um, mitered corners. It's got a bias, um, a barrel neckline, which I did with um, my own bias tape. Although you do get bias tape in the pack. Um, and yeah, just really, really loved making it. Did I struggle with anything? Not really i just took my time with it this fabric is just such a dream to sew with really enjoy this is a viscose linen um and yeah quite a heavy content of linen though i think um and i loved it you know that i sewed with linen last month and um was really a real big fan so yeah i'm really really happy with it instructions are brilliant the um images and the diagrams are really good i mean I, i've made quite a few in the folds um patterns through peppermint magazine and i've got to say they are really good now it's a level two i would say it is a level two it looks very simple but there's some great techniques on there but she holds your hand all the way through them so yeah i'm really really happy with it let me know what you think love this fabric they've got this fabric in stock to purchase and i think four different colorways from little miss so and so and i'll put the link down below um and yeah i love it what more can you say I've styled it here with some boots. I've got my leggings on because it's a bit cold and I've got this top, but you could wear it in the summer without any of this on. A pair of sandals, Dot Martin sandals, it'd look amazing. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and this reveal. Um, if you have, please click the like button. And if you don't subscribe to Ready, please consider subscribing. If you want to subscribe to this um, All Set to Sew subscription box, you can get 10% off your first box by using the code Adele10, which will be in the notes below. And um, yeah, you can pause or cancel your subscription at any time. And I recommend you do it. If you've been thinking about doing a subscription box, go for it. Happy sewing. I'll see you all soon. Bye.